Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be decorating my dining room. If you've been around for a while, you know I'm slowly kind of changing my style up a little bit. So, you know, there will definitely still be things in this room after this that I'll want to change, but it will take time as the budget allows. But I also wanted to share with you a couple of really cool DIYs, especially this textured wall art. Um, if you've found those before, they can be super expensive. So I really just wanted to make my own and slowly just start to transition the style of this room just a little bit. I hope that you enjoy this video and we will kind of talk a little bit about what's going on throughout. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to work on was this hutch in my dining room. I had chalk painted this a while ago and I left the inside a wood color, which I loved for a little while, but as I'm slowly changing my style, I really want to try to get rid of some of that oak wood color. I would love to redo the hardwood floors in our home, but that will not be anytime real soon, but I can slowly start to get rid of this oak color as we go. So I'm just removing all of the glass and giving it a good wipe down. And then I'm going to paint the inside with my um, chalk paint in mineral. And it's kind of like a tannish gray color. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It really kind of brightened it up a lot. And then I found some really beautiful different uh, pulls and knobs for the drawers and the doors. And I try a couple different ones, but I end up loving the way this whole thing turned out. And I really think it kind of transformed it and makes it look a lot different and a lot more updated. Okay, so the next DIY I wanted to do kind of like a unique piece of art, uh, just a, like a textured wall picture. 
I'll insert a picture here on kind of similar what I have in mind and how expensive they are. They are like a couple hundred dollars or something for textured wall art that I think I'm going to try to do on my own. So I have had this picture for probably four years. I didn't use it last year. I don't even know if I used it the year before that. I'm over it. I was just going to get rid of it, but I figured I might as well repurpose it and use it. I really liked the color of the wood, so I had tried to find other frames, and there was no sense in spending thirty or forty dollars for this frame for something that I already have that I'm just going to be, you know, putting some spackling over anyways. And like I said, I really liked this color wood, so I'm going to tape all around the perimeter to save the frame, and then I'm going to be then I'm going to be using this spackling and kind of putting it all on making a texture however I like this goes on pink but it does dry white and then you know I'll see after it dries if I want to do anything else and then I'll paint it and I haven't decided if I want to leave it just white or if I want to sponge paint a little bit of color to add a little something I haven't decided yet but we're just going to start with painting and putting on the spackling. So after this was dry, I did use my chalk paint in white and succulent. I had another one there, but I didn't end up using it. It was a little too gray looking than I wanted. So I just took an old makeup sponge and just kind of dabbed and made a design. I, I didn't really have specifically anything in mind. I didn't want it to go all the way to the top. I almost think it ends up looking like kind of like a horizon, like treetops or something. That wasn't necessarily what I was going for, but I think it's kind of what it looks like and I really love it.
Life is a winding road. Okay, so one thing I want to try, I'm not a huge curtain person in here. I just think they collect dust and I'm just not one that likes to put a lot of curtains up, but I did get some sheer panels that I wanted to try in here. But if you can see, there are curtain rods hanging here. I would want to move them closer to the ceiling, but I want to make sure that I like the panels here first. So I'm going to hang them up um, and I'm not going to put them in the middle because I want to be able to use this these plate racks here So I would just put a sheer panel here and then a sheer panel over on that side and See how it looks so they're gonna to be too long But I'm gonna initially just put them up to make sure I like them before I move those curtains no Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Okay, so this is what it's like with them up. I'm just going to leave them for now and do some other things. And then if I decide that I like them, then I will go ahead and move the rods up. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I, let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down
watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feel it Okay, so this is a new piece of furniture that I got from Home Goods. I love it. I think it fits beautifully under this, um, you know, under this mirror and on this wall here. It's a nice little sideboard table where you can use it for additional places to serve food if you need to. Um, I like the color combination. I haven't decided if I'm going to you know, restain my dining room table, then in that case, I'll restain this. But for now, this top matches the dining room table perfectly. So I don't know, I'm kind of, I still really do like the darker wood with the white. So I haven't decided, but that wouldn't be until spring if I decided to do that project anyways. So now we're just going to decorate this table.
Okay friends, here is how the dining room came out with the little changes and DIYs that I made. It was exactly the kind of, I don't know, feel that I was going for in this room. I just wanted super neutral and, you know, kind of, kind of boho, kind of cottage. I don't know. I don't really know the style. I just like it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to kind of walk you around a little bit and just show you what we have. So I wanna start out by mentioning this beautiful table runner. This was sent to me by, from Daniela from Ascento Restico. She is opening a small little home decor shop. This is a hand woven table runner and it is absolutely gorgeous. And she just sent it to me, no reason, and I appreciate that so much. So I'm going to have her um, little shop linked down below if you want to check her out but I just want to thank her again so much for sending this to me and it goes perfectly with the kind of feel that I have going on here in this room so I kept the center piece super simple so I'm really not ready for many florals yet probably not for another couple weeks but I really wasn't sure what else to put in this vase I love florals that just kind of drape out and over you saw me play with this quite a bit I like just the feel of that, that kind of organic, rustic feel of that, and I just put it in this um, bluish green glass recycled vase, and I love that. Just very simple. So over here, I hung this mirror above here. This mirror is from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely adore this mirror. And then I just put some olive stems in this little vase right here and then these are the green glass um, orbs or spheres that I got from at home and this is a wicker dough bowl that I got last year from Joann's in the spring line and then this is the little Studio McGee lamp. I just put a couple of cookbooks down in here. I love that this gives me a little bit of extra storage so I can store like napkins and stuff in there. And then that lantern is from at home. And then I just added a few other little touches here. Lots of pops of greenery along with the rattan and wicker and just neutrals and whites. So over here, I really didn't do anything. I didn't even show me decorating this because I really didn't decorate it. I like to keep this open. This is more like a drink bar or something if we have people over. So I just don't like to have a lot of stuff here. I just have this little wicker tray that I think was from the Hearth and Hand line that I've had along with that cake stand that I've also had for a while from the Hearth and Hand line. So coming over here to this DIY wall art, I love this. And if I can do this, anybody can do this. It was so simple. And it's just a unique piece of art that I created myself. There is not another one out there. So I highly recommend if you're looking for some kind of textured wall art, it can be so super expensive. And this cost me, because I had the picture already and I had the paint, all I had to buy was the spackling that was about $5 for the tub. That's what this whole project cost me. And I have a nice big print unique piece of art for my wall. So I highly recommend if you like this type of thing, try just making it yourself. You really can't mess up. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And I just think it looks really pretty. You could just have kept this white and that would look beautiful also. But I do think that the green just added a little bit of something else to it. Over here, this I love this wicker tiered hanging basket. This is from Amazon. I just have some different greenery in here for now. I think I'm gonna order another one of these for my kitchen because it's perfect for like fruits and vegetables and stuff. I think it's so pretty and it kind of separates it and keeps it up off your counter. So I just have a couple different greeneries and then just some of this vase filler down here. So over here on these shelves, again, I just didn't really add too much to it and kept everything that I did add nice and neutral. These little wicker trays right here are from Hobby Lobby in the spring line. Everything else I've had. So I really didn't buy a ton for this room. So over here is how the hutch turned out. I think it really just made such a difference. Kind of added a little bit of a boho type of vibe to it and I really enjoy that. And I think that painting the inside and getting rid of that oak wood color really made a huge difference. So this is just that um, wicker wall art from Target. 
And then this is the DIY vase that I made and I just added some of those stems in there. And then I have a few plates. You know, again, everything's all just very neutral. This little tray came from Tar oh no, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. Also, it does have like a wall hanger on the back, so it's actually a wall hanging, but I'm using it as a tray in here. And just another little cake stand. I just kept it really, really simple, and I like it like that. And then up here, I have just this olive tree from Target. I put it in that little wicker basket. And then this gorgeous bowl came from Pier 1 when they were going on clear out, you know, out of business. And so I grabbed that. I don't have anything in there right now. I may eventually put some florals or some greenery or something hanging down. But for now, that's how it's going to stay. I love these little door pulls on here. I think they are so cute. And then I'm happy I decided to go with these for instead of the wood ones. I think it just added a little bit more and some texture and a little bit more pop to this hutch. Sorry, the lighting is really bad because the sun is coming in full force right now. So you can probably also tell I did decide to keep the curtains up. I like them just on either side like that. I think they look super pretty. I did hang the rods way up by the ceiling. It makes a big difference and it draws your eye up. They are still the tiniest bit too long, but that's okay. I don't mind them sitting on the floor just a little bit like that. So friends, this is how the dining room came out and how I've kind of just switched up my style a little bit slowly around my house. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gives you a little bit of decorating inspiration. I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. I do kind of do a lot of DIYs and stuff on there as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe if you are new. I have more kind of transition videos for almost every room in this house. So I hope you want to follow along with this kind of decor transformation. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day.